What's up everybody, I'm Scott Bynal. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to demo the Guptech PDEQ Presence and Depth EQ pedal. Uh, Guptech sent me this pedal to demo and try out, but the coolest thing about this pedal that they sent is that they actually sent two of these pedals. They sent me two pedals, folks, because I'm actually gonna give one away to a lucky viewer of this video. So if you wanna win this pedal, stick around. I will tell you how to enter this giveaway towards the end of the video. Uh, really simple, really easy to do. Can be anywhere in the world. I will ship it to you if you win it. So, but before I do that, what I'm gonna do is demo this pedal so you can hear how it sounds in the effects loop of my amplifier. All right, so some of you watching this video right now might be saying, hey Scott, what is a PDEQ pedal? Well, this is basically like an EQ pedal for your power amp or it mimics that. So if you have an amplifier, for example, I have an orange Jim Root Terror. It doesn't have any power amp control presence or depth or resonance or depth. This pedal, if you throw it in the loop, mimics that kind of control, which is really, really cool. You can also put this in line with your other pedals in front of your amplifier and use it like a regular EQ, but I like to put this in the loop of my amp. Uh, this is kind of like the Amp Tweaker Depth Finder. I don't think they make those anymore, um, but the cool thing about this pedal is that you can turn it on and off. I don't know if the amp tweaker could turn on and off. I think it was like an always on kind of thing, but I don't really know. Leave me a comment down below to let me know because I never had one, but uh, this you can do that with. And then also these little switches down here, uh, if you flip them down, it bypasses the effect that's above it. So you can bypass the depth or you can bypass the presence. So you can actually control either of the sides of the pedal. Uh, and if you have them both down, the pedal acts as a buffer, which is really cool. Another neat thing about this is that you can put this in the loop of like a solid state amplifier. You know, there's a lot of people say that solid state amplifiers don't sound as lively as tube amps. Um, that's up for opinion and debate, up to you. But you can do that as well and kind of mess around with this in the loop of a solid state amp to try and give it more tube -y feel. All right, so before I tell you how to win one of these pedals, I want to demo it for you so you can hear how it sounds. Feel free to use the timestamps that I'll list down below in the description if you want to jump ahead to a particular tone. But I'm going to demo this with two amplifiers today. The first one is going to be an orange Jim Root Terror, and the second one is going to be a Saldano SLO Mini. Um, my signal chain is going to be identical between both demos, so I'll be using an SMP Orpheus, which is loaded with bare knuckle Ragnaroks. That will be going into the front of each of those amplifiers, and the PDEQ will be going into the effects loop of those amps. Those amps will be plugged into an Omega 412, which will be mic'd up by a TLM 102 and a Shure SM57. There will be no EQ, no post-processing, no nothing going on in Pro Tools. This is how the pedal and these amps sound together. All right, let's hit it.
so there you have it, the Guptech PDEQ. Um, if you're paying attention in the video, this pedal adds quite a bit of volume to the signal when you engage it, which is pretty cool. Um, and the depth and presence controls are fairly aggressive. I think you might have noticed that in the video that a little goes a long way with this pedal. There is a lot of tone on tap here uh, with my particular amps, my setup didn't really need a lot to make a big difference. Um, but the cool thing about it is that you can really experiment with this and really push the boundaries and get it to sound however you want it to sound with your particular setup. All right, if you're still here, it probably means you wanna win this pedal. And uh, to do that is really simple. All you need to do is leave me a comment down below and say, hey Scott, I want that pedal. And that will enter you into the giveaway to win this pedal. Big shout out to Guptech for supplying this pedal. Um, I'll ship it to anybody. Anywhere in the world, whoever wins this pedal, I'll ship that to you. So like I said, all you have to do is leave a comment on this video to let me know you want the pedal. Also, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and turn on notifications because if you're not subscribed and you don't turn on notifications, you might miss the video where I announce the winner of this pedal. Uh, when am I gonna do it? Well, I'm gonna do it on this date. I'm gonna be flashing it on the screen right now. Uh, at the time of me shooting this video, I don't exactly know when I'm gonna post it, but the date flashing on the screen right now is when I will announce and pick the winner at random. I'll post a video about it so you can see and I'll try and contact you or you can contact me, we'll figure it out. Um, but like I said, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications and while you're at it, head over to Guptech's YouTube, subscribe to their YouTube, head over to their Instagram and follow them on Instagram. I'll leave the links to their socials below. Uh, good people out of Quebec, Canada. For those watching my channel that don't know Canadian geography, Quebec is a province in Canada. It's where they're from, small batch handmade pedals. That's what this pedal is actually based on. It's the license plate uh, of Quebec, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you should because you need to, to you know, be informed that uh, potentially you won this pedal. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and remember, stay safe and stay heavy. See you in the next video.